Hey, what up, America? This is your boy, Bouchon Glover, Better Black America. So apparently Joe Biden has uh, selected his running mate and he's going to make the announcement very soon. But at this point, we don't know who it is, but he's under a lot of pressure as to um, him selecting a black female or an African-American female. Now, the dangers of that is is uh, systematic and it uh, has a long history when it comes to um, slavery, uh, the Willie Lynch of 1725, because I'm going to share a little bit of this with you to show you how uh, the science has broken uh, the, these things down and is still working to a science today. And uh, the pros and cons, if he did or did not select a black female for his uh, presidential campaign. Now, this is a part of the Willie Lynch, and I'm going to read just a little part of it. I'm working on a docu-series, but I just wanted to put this out because I attempted a few live videos, but somehow my um, feed is getting blocked because of the importance of what today is. So therefore, I decided to do a, a recorded video to see if I can actually upload that. So now, take the female. And this is the Willie Lynch science dated back to 1725. Take the female and run a series of tests on her to see if she will submit to your desires willingly. Test her in every way because she is the most important factor for a good economic. So apparently the black woman is the most important factor for a good economic, which I agree because women are, um, they producers, you know, they will produce children and then they will produce and protect a narrative that's actually given to them or spoon fed to them. Willie Lynch back to it. If she shows any signs of resistance in submitting to your will, do not hesitate to use the bull whip to extract the last bit of resistance out of her. Take care that you don't kill her for in doing so you spoil your good economic. Now, when in complete submission, she will train her offspring in the early years to submit to labor when they become of age. Now, understanding is the best thing. Therefore, we shall go deeper into these, this area of the subject matter concerning that what we have produced to the subject matter, to the Black Lives Matter, to the subject matter, to the Black Lives Matters concerning what we have produced here in the breaking process of the female nigger. That's what it says. We have reversed the relationship in her natural uncivilized state that she would have a strong dependency on the uncivilized nigger male and she would have a limited protection, protective tendency toward her independent male offspring and would raise male offsprings to be dependent like her. She will may raise her male offsprings to be dependent like her, according to Willie Lynch. Nature has provided this type of balance. Now, we reserve nature by burning and pulling a civilized nigger apart and bullwhipping the other to the point of death, all in her presence. By her being left alone, unprotected, with a male image destroyed, the ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependent state to a frozen independent state. Now, in this frozen psychological state of independence, she will raise her male and female offsprings in reverse roles. This is why the black community has issues with black women, you know, promoting transgender, promoting same sex and all that, because according to the Willie Lynch, in this frozen psychological state of her independence, she will raise her male and female offspring in reverse roles. This is the science that they speak of. For fear of the young male, she has that she will psychologically train him to be mentally weak and dependent, but physically strong. Because she has become psychologically independent, she will train her female offspring to be psychological, psychologically independent as well. So what do you got? You got the nigger woman out in front and the nigger male behind and scared. So we'll be scared behind our black female vice president because the Willie Lynch basically said you will have the nigger woman out front and the nigger male behind scared. Scared. 
Now you better vote for Joe Biden. That's scary. Okay. Now this is the perfect situation of sound sleep and economic. Before the breaking of this process, we had to be alerted and on guard at all times because the black men had issues and he'll run up in there and do some harm to master. But now that we got the woman, now we can sleep soundly for out of frozen fear, his woman stands guard for us. He cannot get past her early slave moldness. He is a good tool now ready to be tried, tied to a horse at a tender age. By the time the nigger boy reaches the age 16, he is soundly broken and is ready to go along with sound efficient work in the reproduction, in the reproduction of a unit of good labor force and frozen independence and a broken system. So we're going to continue on with this, but um, we don't know who Joe Biden, um, who his selection is, but we'll respond uh, when we find out who it is. With that being said, it's your boy Bouchon Glover. And the reason I had to do this because they blocking my feed. So I decided to upload. So let's see if this could stick. So share this video. Let the world know what's going on because they expect the black man to be scared behind his woman. But like I said, not in 2020. And this will not be no sequel because we know you never intended us to be your equal. With that being said, have a good day. Hey, game on. It's Chestnut Checkers. I'll be checking in and we'll see what's up. All right, Joe Biden.